I must have slept for an hour. Nearer two. I couldn't bring myself to wake you. Here. What is it? A present. A present for me? I don't see anybody else around here. Open it. Right now? Of course. I've always been like this. Christmas, my birthdays. A present so wonderful. Lovely and mysterious. Before it's unwrapped. And what's inside is always a disappointment? No. But after all, it's something that came from the stool. What's in this one came from the heart, Kate. Mr. Cheap. fellow gives a girl a ruby, the least he can expect is to be called by his name. Joe. Thank you, Joe. This was presented to my grandfather in India. I had it made up as a pendant for you. I never dreamed of anything so beautiful. You can christen it tonight. I thought we'd run down to the lodge for dinner. There's, uh, there's usually a crowd there for the skiing. I think we ought to. Why not? Go out together where there's a crowd. Oh. I've been doing a lot of thinking. We have to be very clear in our minds just how things will be. For us and for the people we care about. I can't go on living with Anne, for instance. I'll have to get an apartment of my own somewhere. That's where we'll always have to see each other. We can't go out together anymore. Let me finish. Now, you listen to me. I love you as I've never loved anyone else. Surely, deeply, completely. Do you really think I'd stand for that? You, my mistress, dodging your friends in an apartment on the wrong side of town? It's my decision, Joe. It's what I want to do. Thank you. And it's the one thing I'll never let you do. Kate, will you marry me? How could we? I'll ask my wife for a divorce. Would she give you one? She might. There's a reason why she might. I can force the issue. I never even thought about marriage. I can't give you up. Not now. I can't go back to Gibbsville, to Frederick Street, not to that house. I... I'm sorry. That was inexcusable, whining about my own troubles. Joe. When a man asks a woman to marry him, doesn't he usually wait for her answer? more Swiss than anything in Switzerland. I've never been there. You like it. Are we going to Switzerland? It'll be fun to show you all the places you've never been, some of the places I've never been. Will there be anything else, sir? Anything else, ma'am? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, here, let me help you. I can still get up by myself. Thank you. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, sir. Kate, Kate Drummond. I didn't know you were in these parts. Hello, Bill. Oh, where are you staying? The friends. <laughs> well, you're not leaving now. We're, we're all going to have a dance later. I'm afraid we have to go. Oh, come on. You can stay for just a little while anyway. 
Mr. Drummond, you make her stay. I'll uh, see that she gets home all right. Her name is Chapin. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. I, I guess I, I, I sort of leaped the wrong conclusion. I, I mean... Uh, Kate is a friend of my daughter's, my daughter, Anne. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, I know Anne Chapin. We're on our way up to Lost Lake now to meet her there. That's why we have to leave. <laughs> well, better luck next time. Good night, Kate. Good night. Uh, good night, sir. I'm sorry I crashed into you. It's quite all right, son. Good night. See, that funny eyes. I thought Anne Chapin was in Bermuda. worried about my reputation. That's not what I'm worried about. It didn't mean anything what he said. He just made a perfectly natural mistake. Exactly. He perfectly naturally assumed that I was your father. Oh, please, please. I can't stand having you hurt. Kate, let's take a good long look. At what? At ourselves. Let's come here. Look at what, Joe? At what that young friend of yours showed us. He's just a baby. A foolish, big-mouthed baby. We should be grateful to him. Grateful? I needed that bump he gave me. Maybe it knocked some sense into me. Don't you see, Kate, our getting married would be just as bad as the other thing, what it would do to your life? I... I lost my head this afternoon. Joe! Now listen, Kate. The rules are there for a reason. Why do we always laugh at the old character chasing after the young girl in the cartoons? Or those newspaper stories about the old hillbilly marrying some half-witted female of 11. I'm not really half-witted. And there's not that much difference between us. Enough so that our children would only know their father as an old man. Enough so that you'd be left alone at the time you most needed love and protection. When you're as old as I am now, that's why the rules are there. Love isn't everything, Kate. You can't live without pride. P-R-I-D-E. I can't tell you how un unhappy I am. I'm going away somewhere, far away. You don't have to. I'll stay out of your life, trust me. Maybe I can't trust myself to stay out of yours. Here's your ruby. It's yours. I wanted to give you something beautiful and extravagant. I still want to. I'm grateful to you for being all that you are. Go on up now, and I know when you're alone, you'll cry. But Kate, we'll always have this, won't we? <laughs> <laughs> 